Hi, welcome to Crystal French Geckos. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my step-by-step -step process for building bioactive terrariums using this Exoterra 18x18x36. This terrarium build will be for an adult male Amazon milk frog. The first step in building a bioactive terrarium is to make sure you have a good drainage layer. To create a drainage layer, I use hydro balls. Hydro balls are made of clay so they can absorb and release water easily. This drainage layer is important because it helps to make sure the substrate is not too wet and also helps to keep humidity stable in the tank. Pebbles or stones can be used as the drainage layer instead of hydro balls. The drainage layer should be at least 2 to 4 inches deep. When using hydro balls, you should always rinse them off with water before putting them in the tank. You also want to make sure to pat down the hydro balls to make this layer as flat as possible. The next step is to lay down a barrier between the drainage layer and the substrate to keep the substrate from sinking into your drainage layer when you water it. I have seen this done many ways with items such as screen or mesh, however I personally like to use these cut to fit filter pads for this layer. Using these dense filter pads makes the terrarium last longer, and I personally think they look more aesthetically pleasing. I normally use just the carbon filter pads which are the black ones, however I only had one of those left so I'm also using regular filter pads, which are the blue ones. The blue filter pads are not infused with anything extra. Carbon is great for protecting the roots of the plants from things like mold, which can damage them. I cut these into strips and I'm alternating between the carbon and the regular pads. These are some excess trimmed off bits from the strips that I made earlier. I'm going to be using these little pieces to wedge between the filter pad layer that I already have and the background of the tank where there are some grooves. This is what the tank looks like so far. As you can see, we have the hydro balls as the drainage layer and the filter pads on top of that. Just like with the hydro balls, you want to make sure to pat those down and make sure they are nice and snug so that the substrate cannot get through when we add that. The last step in our bio layering is going to be adding our substrate. As in most of my bioactive terrariums, I'm going to be using a mixture of coconut fiber and peat moss as my substrate. You could use just coconut fiber or just peat moss as your substrate, but I like to mix the two. When you're choosing a substrate to put in your terrarium, it is important to make sure there are no additives in it, such as miracle Grow or Perlite, because those could be potentially harmful to your animal. You also want to make sure that the substrate you use will create the proper humidity for the animal you are housing in that tank. Here is the tank now with the substrate added. Now that we have our bio layer done, it's time to add decorations and plants. I'm going to start off by adding a centerpiece to build the rest of my design around. For this, I'm going to be using a large piece of Amazon wood. You could also use things like oak branches, corkwood, or plants as a centerpiece. After adding my centerpiece, I'm going to add a water source. For this, I'm using a plastic container. To make this container look a little bit more naturalistic, I'm going to use these large pebbles to decorate the top of the container. Using some hot glue, I'm going to adhere these pebbles to the container. To do this, I'm using the flattest pebbles possible or the flat side of them. To make it easier to stick onto the container.
this is what it looks like after the top layer is finished. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the side of the lip of the container. Using hot glue, I'm just going to stick on the flat side of the pebbles. And I will repeat this process around the rest of the container on the lip. This is what it looks like after the top and the side of the container is done. As you can see, there are some cracks where the hot glue is exposed, so I'm going to take some sphagnum moss and glue them in between those cracks. This will help create a more naturalistic effect as well. This is what the final product of the container looks like with the pebbles and the sphagnum moss added. Now I'm going to place this into the substrate where I want it and plant our terrarium safe plants around it. It's really important to get these large objects in the tank first before you put your plants in there because that's what you're going to base your foliage design around. For plants, I'm going to be using a Aglonema Baby Valentine, a ZZ plant, and a Dracaena Lemon Lime. When putting plants in your terrariums, you should make sure to take out the soil and rinse out the roots of the plants because they can be potted and perlite, which are these little white balls, which once again aren't very good for your animals. This is what our terrarium looks like now with the added plants. As you can see, this is the Dracaena and the ZZ plant was placed behind the Amazon boy. I'm using the same pebbles as earlier and placing those at the bottom of the container of water. I'm also placing some java moss in the container as well as a cute little floating plant. As you can see here, I added some bamboo into the water container, as well as some snake plants into the soil to create a little bit more height variation with the plants, as well as some more texture to the tank. I'm now going to make sure everything is set in place and mist everything down and then go ahead and add my air plants. This is a Talansia Zero Graphica and I'm also going to be adding some Old Man's Beard which is another type of Talansia um, and another type of air plant. That I'm just going to loop around the top of the Amazon wood to create something similar to a bush and add a little bit more foliage to the top. I'm going to be adding a couple smaller plants to the bottom of the terrarium to make it a little bit more full. This is Pelionia repens, Satin Pothos. This is a Bromeliad Pup off of one of my plants at home. This is some Wandering Jew. This stuff grows really fast and is great for terrariums. And then we also have some silver squeal. 
here is what our terrarium looks like after all of our plants have been added. I'm also going to be adding some leaf litter to the ground of the terrarium. These are off of a ficus benjamina. Another type of leaf that works really great are oak leaves. These are going to make the ground look a little bit more full in the terrarium and they're also going to be food for our cleanup crew that we're going to add in a minute. For our cleanup crew, I'm going to be adding some powder peach isopods. These guys are really great cleanup crews. They propagate really fast and they're a great source of extra calcium if the animal decides to eat them. And with that, our bioactive build is done. So the last thing to do is to add our Amazon milk frog. This is Harry. Harry is an adult male Amazon milk frog that resides at Pet Shop Santa Cruz. He is one of our animal ambassadors for birthday parties and educational events at Pet Shop Santa Cruz. These frogs are arboreal. That is why he has tons of vertical space to climb and jump and frolic, whatever he chooses to do. These frogs are native to the Amazon rainforest in South America. Some people also refer to these frogs as the Mission Golden Eye Tree Frog. And here is the finished product of our bioactive terrarium in this Exoterra 18 by 18 by 36. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a like down below and make sure to subscribe to be notified when more videos are posted. To see more awesome animals, you can also follow us on Instagram at Crystal French Geckos. Thank you for watching. Bye! first step in building a bioactive terrarium is to make sure you have a good drainage layer. To create a drainage layer, I use Hydro Balls. Hydro Balls are made of clay so they can absorb and release water easily. This drainage layer is important because it helps to make sure the substrate is not too wet and also helps to keep humidity stable in the tank. Pebbles or stones can be used as a drainage layer instead of Hydro Balls. The drainage layer should be at least 2 to 4 inches deep. When using hydro balls, you should always rinse them off with water before putting them in the tank. You also want to make sure to pat down the hydro balls to make this layer as flat as possible.